Okay, so we're really sorry that we couldn't actually uh, limit the video to one minute. So we have made the video up to five minutes. We hope that you'll view all of our ideas. Thank you. Okay, so this is our very first idea that we have. And as it is written here, heat energy from the pressure friction plus the pressure is turned into electrical energy. So what I'm trying to say here is that like in the walkways and in the roads, well, there will be people and cars walking, so there, there will be pressure from the enormous weight of the cars and the hundreds of people walking in the pave, uh, walkways every day. So that all the heat and the pressure would actually be used to convert to electricity with sensors under the roads and pavements. So now here, this, this is another idea that I have where normal um motion sensor light box they will usually have like a like a spare time with no motion before the light bulbs actually turn on but what i have here my plan is that we can have instant turning off light bulbs i know this might be like a old idea but we just wanted to give it a try now what we have here is a um, estate in Singapore, as in the most relevant Singapore context that we have right now. So first we have a small plastic turbine um, at every single household um, that is connected to a large generator at the basement of it. So um, when it rains or there's like a strong wind or even just a small wind, um, the turbines will turn and and all of them, since they're turning at the same time, they'll be able to generate a huge amount of uh, electricity. And this electricity will be used to power the entire block without using fossil fuels, as such used in Singapore mostly, to generate electricity for the entire block. This, if implemented in every housing estate in Singapore, is the most cleanest source of energy you can find. Well, currently in Minecraft, we couldn't find any other way to connect like connect things to the generator so we currently just use redstone okay so now we'll be moving on to the next idea that we have Okay, so what we have here is a torchlight, a normal torchlight with a battery that can be recharged, but without taking out the battery itself. So first we have uh, the solar panels over there, and the main material used for the torch is actually the wooden block that I used, but I added silver strips to be material, sorry, iron strips to be material, since metal conduct uh, heat better, it should be able to conduct the heat away from your hand and use that heat and the light, as in like the light gained by the solar panels, all of that, convert it into chemical potential energy and put it inside the battery. Oh yes, and sorry that I forgot to mention that we can also use the heat from friction like air resistance even though it's kind of minimal it should be able to add up together with our body heat to be stored in the battery and pretty much keep it forever so that is how we power the entire torchlight even without actually taking out the battery to recharge it thank you for watching our video and we hope that you will like it Goodbye.